What's up, y'all? Man, look here. Got out the shower, bro. Hey, I'll come, man. I'm, I'm gonna start preaching on, on some faith. I'm gonna start preaching on some YouTube, man, because I gotta come in the name of Jesus, bro. And I gotta start, man. Hey, look. I just, I just gotta let it be known, man. You know, we, we are getting close, bro. And I, I don't want no glory, man. I'm just being me right now, bro. But, but you know, even when I see some people, man, that that I knew before in the past, bro, that, that I knew. So you know I'm saying like this, um, uh, that I knew and just going down the wrong path. I'm, I'm like, bro, do you understand what it's gonna be like on Judgment Day, bro? Let's get one thing straight, bro. I, I'm, man, I'd have been in the hood, bro. You know what I mean? I lived there, bro. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm cool with it. Since I mean, God done blessed me. Uh, you know, I'm in a better place now, man, in life. But man, I mean, I don't know what. Look, some drugs I haven't did, but I feel like so many people hyped up on drugs, man. Whatever drugs you hyped up on, bro, look here. And I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to, you know, judge you. I ain't trying to cut you down. But whatever drugs got you getting hyped, got you feeling painless, bro, hey, man, I'm going to let you know, bro. Hey, like I said, I ain't never, when I was young, I did some things, but I ain't never did some drugs. I don't know what they got these people thinking out here. But when God throws some folks in hell, bro, hey, man. Let's be real, man, bro. You is you are not. Look, don't don't take that chance, man. Look, bro, this world they don't even care about you. We you know what I'm saying all these. We, we gonna waste our we gonna waste our lives on this world. Don't even care about us, bro. On Judgment Day, man, think about it on Judgment Day. Think about it, bro. And I know the devil has filled this world with lies, man. He don't fill this world with lies, bro. Like everywhere we walk, man. You know what I mean? It make us feel like. Uh, you just ain't got it like that. That's why you're trying to serve the Lord. That's why you're trying to tell everybody to stop doing what they're doing and you can't make all that money. Whatever the, the case may be, the devil want to make you feel like you're just not talented or you ain't got it like that. That's why you're trying to, that's why you're walking on this righteous path. Man, look here, bro. It's a setup, bro. The devil going to always try to make somebody feel like, or people that's living for the devil is going to always try to make somebody feel like, they just ain't got it like that. You know what I mean? That's why that's why you're trying to walk down this this fake Christian path. No, nah, bro. In, in back in the hood, bro, back in the day when I was young, they used to always call a dude fake. Yeah, I'm, I'm just being real out here, man. You know what I mean? They used to tell a dude like he ain't talented, you know what I'm saying? Just because he didn't involve himself with the things that was going on in the school halls or in, in the in the neighborhoods. So my dad was strict anyway, so I really wasn't into all that. But, but I used to get cut down and I wasn't even even a Christian. But still now to today. I always hear these things about talent. I always hear these things about um just all this stuff, man. You know what I mean? Uh, about talent and how you know you you um you know you, you gotta you know what I'm saying if you you know if you ain't talented you must be trying to live right because you just ain't got it like that or you know but the fact is though don't let that stuff play with your mind, man. Don't let that stuff play with your mind, bro. Recognize that Jesus Christ got all the wisdom. He got all the knowledge. He got all the understanding, man. And it, it does not matter, bro. It does not matter. If you if, if you think you can't do something, don't let nobody try to make you feel like don't go to God about it, man. First of all, bro, that's, that's what I'm about tired of, bro. And I'll tell you right now, I say, man, I will go. I, look, I ain't going off of nobody because I got to keep my Christian attitude. I'm going to tell you right now. Like, that is the whole point of Jesus Christ, God Almighty. Don't let the devil lie to you and make you feel like this is that uh, God ain't the one that's giving out the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. The, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding is everything that we need to help us to do all the things in life. You know what I mean? But the fact is, though, yeah, you can't do every single thing. Well, but good Lord, how much you got to do, bro? How much you got to do? You trying to tell me to sit back, kick back with a nice little paycheck every week is bad? You got to go deal drugs? You, I mean, you, you can't just... You can't, you know you just can't chill, bro. You know what I mean you just can't. You know you want you have a sexual just like go go to, go to the gym or something. You know just relax or whatever you got to do. You feel me? Hey man, don't let these false prophets out here, man, lead y'all down the wrong path, bro. Don't let nobody tell y'all, man, they ain't gonna hell, bro. See that's the thing about it. See, look here, bro. Look here. <laughs> look, I don't care. What first of all, this this is the problem right here. This is the problem, bro. You got the Bible, bro. You got the whole Bible that all these people don't wrote, and you got the nerve to try to listen to somebody in this life right now that's telling you about what ain't gonna be and what is to be. When God done made that Bible over a thousand years ago, over a thousand years ago, man. So I'm saying, I'm not angry 
with people, I'm just passionate, bro. And, I, and I'm angry with the lies, you know what I'm saying, that the devil has put out here and that people are believing, man. I'm not angry with people. But but I'm just saying, though, who, who going to believe what people say? Like, if the Bible says something, man, look, it, and I got some people that, you know, I know that don't believe in, you know, like just the, um, the uh, 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 hell or something like that, man. Look, bro, if it says anything about eternal damnation, Anything, uh, you know, uh, the Bible said anything about that, bro, bro, stop, man, look, man, don't, don't, don't be just walking around thinking it ain't going to happen, they don't exist, man, you know what I mean, come on, bro, do you, do you really want, to, bro, stop playing, bro, you know, good in the way, nobody want to take that chance, man, you, you have, bro, look, I don't know, I told myself, man, bro, I, I know that there's some bad forms of torture out here, but let, let's get one thing clear, any type of form of torture, which I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. <laughs> I'd rather not go through any martyrdom or torture. But let's get one thing straight here. And I ain't trying to act G'd up. I ain't trying to act like I'm painless and I got such a high tolerance of, of pain. Because really, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a pretty, you know, just laid back guy. But the fact is, though, when somebody tell me that God going to throw me in hell forever, compared to, compared to, like, somebody threatening me or somebody just want to murder or somebody want to take my life because I believe in Christ or or for any other reason of righteousness, you know what I mean? Want to take my life, bro. Let's get one thing straight, man. Hey, I'm going to take my chances, man. You heard me? Because if God is right, and I'm not even saying if, I know he's right. So I'm saying, but the fact is, I'm going to take my chances because we don't know everything. And yes, yeah, so come on, man. So, hey, I just want to put that out there, bro. Man, forget all of this game plan. Forget all this trying to be cool. Whatever the intention or motive is, why you think you're just going to try to test God, man, stop testing God. Because look here, man. You, uh, If you really uh, his, get right with God, man. Now, I know some people ain't going to make it. That's a real sad thing. Really, I, I was going to say that one time, bro, because I really don't want to think about that. That's some bad stuff. I don't even want to think about it. But the Bible says, come out and hurt my people. You know what I mean? There's some people that's in churches that maybe are false. Look here, that's another thing. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to be cool. You know what I mean? Forget that. I ain't got time to be cool with nobody about that. Bro, if it's a false church, bro, I ain't playing with it, bro. I ain't, I ain't playing around. Because God said there's some churches out here that's great whores, bro. So all this little righteous moral stuff, they try to act like they doing. Hey, look, man. I, I, know, I know man could be deceitful. But if God say something, God say something. Look here. Hey, forget, forget, what, forget what man is trying to act like that he going to do or his intimidation tactics, bro. Whatever he acting like, he going to shroud you out or, or he, they going to talk about you. Whatever they going to do, are they going to make you feel unwanted or unpopular or unliked or unloved? Man, look here, bro. Is somebody lying, bro, on God's word? Look here. You can hate me whatever. You can do whatever you want to do, bro. But I'll tell you right now, ain't nothing worse than what God can do. So whenever God say something, man, take your chances, man. Because I guarantee you, if you're really wrong about it, God going to come through and let you know beyond a shadow of a doubt if you're really wrong about it. You ain't got to, you, you, you ain't going to go around doubting, so I'm saying, and just thinking that, thinking something off the wall. But shit, yeah, man, hey, look, take your chances on God. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care how many rappers, bro. I don't care how many this, how many that. I don't care what it is, bro. It ain't nothing worse, bro, than being tortured forever in a burning hell, bro. So you can sit here and look at me, and I'm going to tell you right now, ain't nobody trying to be tough. This is about using your brain, though. Bro, ain't nothing going to be worse than being going to hell forever, bro, and burning. Ain't nothing worse than that. So, so look, all the psychological games and lies and threats about not being nobody in life or whatever the, the situation may be, bro, it ain't nothing worse than that, bro. So stop, stop trying to second guess what the Bible say. Whoever you are out there, man, I just want to testify, man. That's probably like I was saying. I was I started preaching to myself earlier, but I was like, man, I'm gonna record this, man, because you know what? One day when I go to heaven, bro, I want to be able to look back on my life, man, and just think about all the good things that God did for me and how God set me up so nice. And it's like, you know what? I got everything I need, bro. I'm blessed, man. I'm happy, man. There ain't really nothing else to do, you know what I mean? But to just just talk about God, man. You know, just just to talk about man, bro. Hey, man, look, it ain't worth it, bro. Whatever the mistakes you done made, bro, turn to God, man. When I say turn to God, that just means do your best, man. Excuse me. Do your best to do what God tell you to do. So I'm saying because, I t like I said already, the best chance you can take is taking a chance on God. 
uh, believe that. <laughs> you may not know everything. You might go a little overboard, but I guarantee you, it's, it's a lot, man. I done, I done been there. I done been a little overboard, you know, holding the dial type attitude, you know, back when I first got came to God. But I, but guess what? God put me in check. God corrected me. You know what I'm saying? So, I, but, I, but I was still all right, though. See, God wasn't mad at me because I, because I was overdoing it. But if you underdoing it, there's a worse chance of suffering the consequences, man. So look here, we don't know the the all the mysteries, man, of what God uh, it tells us to do things. We don't know all those mysteries. But bro, just just know, excuse me, just know, man, that it, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Just like J. Ma says, it is what it is. Some things ain't for some of us to know. You know what I mean? Something we, you know, because that's the thing about man. We all trying to figure out a solution why to do something, how we can re reap rewards of certain nutrients or vitamins or sleep this and exercise that or doing this to your body or whatever. You're trying to reap the rewards, but sometimes the reward just comes from just doing what God said. And when God looks down on you, He's just gonna bless you with that reward because you did what He said to do. Just from the very hand of God's divine hand, He can do it. It ain't no, it ain't no nothing you can do. Vitamins, exercise, or uh, this or uh, relational strategies. This is a simple fact of obedience to God, and He will divine you, send you a blessing from heaven to bless your life. That's what that's 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 the key. That's the mystery. So I'm saying. So, man, I'm telling you, man, I just had to I just had to put that out there, man. Because look, I ain't made a whole lot of videos, man. But I want to know one day, bro, when I'm gone, bro. I want to I want to say, man, you know what? Hey, if I got to tell somebody, you know, what I'm saying a few people out there, because. Bro, I can't even think about, <laughs> I can't even imagine what it's going to be like, man, for people that's not going to make it, bro. I, I, I don't even, I'm like, Phew. hey, and that's that's a subject that a lot of people have a problem with because they try to think, man, man, why, man, God couldn't throw nobody here. You hear, you hear that a lot, you know, I mean, and we try to justify why people shouldn't go to hell while they're in a hell, but I'd rather trust in God, though, than because, you know, I don't know what man is doing out there. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I just trust God, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, we may not know exactly why. We don't even know what hell's going to be like. You know what I mean? But all we know is it's not going to be a good place. And whether somebody believes it or not, that's what the Bible say. You know what I mean? So, uh, hey, man, don't don't take no chances, man. Look here, bro. I mean, I was on YouTube, man. Hey, <laughs> I, I just like, you know, when you look at certain uh, visions, you know, just about what people think hell is like man that's probably not even you know all the way correct <laughs> if they just visualize it anyways it gets all that but anyways man i just want to put it out there man i just want to just encourage somebody today bro to just man bro just give god a try man you know what i'm saying bro look here man like bro on, on the cool man I, I i know some prophecies bro that we may be we may be less than 50 years man you know what I mean? I don't even know, like for real. You know what I mean? I, and fifty is a high number for what I've done. Seen stuff, some things going on. I can't, you know, I, I ain't got my, my, my material out right now. But man, look, man, it ain't worth it, man. And I'm just here to let you know, bro, because because on the cool, man, I done see some people, bro, and and I want to see them on the other side, bro. I want to, I want to, I want to go on the other side and be like, say what? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I let you know about that. You know what I'm saying, boy? Cause I was like, for a minute there, man, you was thinking it wasn't no. This and that, and you was upset about life, and you was going down this path and stuff, man. And so I just want to, I just want to hope it, man. I mean, that'd be a great feeling if I actually, actually did help save somebody that was going to hell. That'd be a real great feeling. I could see him up there and be like, man, bro, see, I told you, bro, but I'm glad you listened, boy. You know what I mean? I'm glad you listened, man, because, bro, the worst of the worst, bro, ain't worse than what God could put on you. Don't let the devil deceive you, bro. Don't, 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 don't. don't don't let him make you feel like he harder than God. He ain't harder than God. <laughs> all this little violence he, he putting up, all this little all these little fits he throwing out here, killing people, murdering all this. Nah, you, you ain't he ain't got nothing on God, bro. See, that's the problem, bro. See, the devil trying to make us feel like he worse than God. He trying to put fear in people as if he, he he's the all wrathful, all powerful. Nah, man, don't let the devil put no fear in you. Well, yeah, I'm not saying you, you know, you can't have a healthy uh, you know, safeguard in your heart, but what I'm saying is though, like Bro, the devil ain't got more wrath than God. He ain't got more punishments than God. God is the worst punisher. Let's get it straight. I know that's not popular. We don't want to hear that. We want to hear God is loving and God is this. But let me tell you something. Somebody tell me you're going to throw me in the hell. Look, I'm going to say that already time and time again. But like I said, don't let the devil intimidate you. Make you feel like, like, you know, if you don't do things his way, 
uh, he's going to take care of you. You know, like they're saying, uh, you know, he's going to touch you. But, hey, look, God is, don't let people make you feel like God is so loving and stuff that he ain't got no wrath like you ain't never seen before. And he ain't got the worst punishments that mankind can ever imagine. Let's get it straight, bro. If you don't respect, forget the world, bro. Look here. Yeah, they're going to have their time. They're going to do what they're going to do. But let me tell you something. When it comes to violence, bro, you don't want to suffer the violence that comes from God's wrath. All right, let's get that straight. So get your mind right. I pray to God that we don't ever have to face any martyrdom or any murder or uh, bodily injury or death from serving the Lord Jesus Christ. But at the end of the day, bro, God got the worst punishment. He got He's the He's the most violent one. So I'm saying so. Stop telling the world, make you feel like intimidate you with all these threats and all these insults and all these put downs and threats of violence and, and persecution or uh, lack of being having popular, uh, uh, being popular, whatever it is, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, God can, is worse than all that. I, don't, I know people don't want to hear that, but when it comes down to justice, God, God really takes care of business. See, the devil try to, he, he just killed for the heck of it. But God, he let it all build up. He give you a chance and a chance and a chance. When he pour out the wrath, see here, so I'm saying, see, I, I know I know people don't want to hear that. The devil don't like that, but that's all right, though. I'm letting it be known, man. Letting it be known, man. So I'm just letting it be known because um, I guess I, what I'm trying to say is the devil may try to punish you, but that's not worse than God's punishment. So I'm saying, so I, I'm just, that's why I'm saying, I'm not saying that to try to coerce or try to scare nobody, but don't let the devil's punishment down or his wrath down here. And don't, don't get it wrong. He got wrath because the Bible said he could, he come with great wrath because he knows his time is short. Either with his time is short with somebody who is getting right with God or at the end of the time, however it means that, um, I believe it's talking about, uh, cause the people that's getting right with God, like we know you're getting saved. Um, I believe that according to what I, what I interpret scripture to mean is that, he know you getting saved. He know you getting right. So his time is he gonna come with you real wrathfully because he knows you're getting close to God. So um, he got wrath too, but God's wrath is way beyond what any demonic wrath can bring your way. So don't be intimidated by the wrath of Satan because Satan tries to bring wrath to get you to disobey. God brings wrath to get you to obey. So I'm saying so. Trust in the wrath of God. Don't don't lean to God's side. Don't lean to Satan's side because of fear of his wrath. Because his wrath ain't got no no God's wrath. Amen. I praise God, man. Hey, I just had to get that out of my system, man. I, I just had to preach a little bit, man. Because you know what? It's getting crazy. I got this news thing on my phone, man. Thing popping up all the time. People getting killed every. I'm not got like I don't know how many news flashes every single day. Murder this, murder that, murder this, murder that. Kids, wives, mothers. I'm like, what? Boy, I say. Stop listening to the devil, man. Stop, bro, stop living for the devil, bro. Hey, man, look, bro. Don't you see, bro? I know that if you go against the grain, that all these threats and all these wrathful, uh, all this hatred going to kind of boil against you. It's a lot of people don't be real open with it. You just get a lot of kind of hateful treatment. It's not really open. But you can't really detect it real good. You, you, you get a lot of hateful treatment, though. But you know what, though? Hmm. Stop letting that make you disobey God. Stop letting that make you disobey God, man. You should know already. So the devil wants you to see. The devil set you up, man. You heard me? He set you up, bro. Because guess what? The devil going to try to put some wrath on you, make you disobey God, and he going to set you up in the trap. You know what they're talking about in the streets? How they going to set you up? That the devil setting you up, bro. He, he's the author of all lies. He's the author of all schemes. You see what I'm saying? He's the ultimate setup. He's the ambusher, bro. He's going to set you up. He's going to make you disobey God, and God going to come down on you so hard. <laughs> hey, you're going to wish you disobeyed the devil. You heard me? You're going to wish you disrespected the devil. You know and what I mean by that? You're going to wish you didn't listen to what he told you to do. And I'm not just talking strong. I'm talking education, talking information, knowledge here. You're going to you, wish you disobeyed what Satan telling you to do or the world or people telling you to do. Because, see, the devil wants you to feel like God ain't going to do nothing. now. <laughs> Stop letting the devil lie to you like that. <clears throat> Stop letting him mess with your mind like that. <laughs> no, no, sir. <clears throat> Trust me. See, they, see, the devil want to try to cover up God's real right. See, stop playing with man, bro. I'm telling you, bro. God, <laughs> he can get very violent. He's all-powerful. 
Stop letting this world lie to you. God does got wrath and God is very violent. He can be very violent. He can be very cruel too. Yes, he can. <laughs> Stop. I mean, he can be, well, well, I don't know if I say cruel, but he can be, he can torture folks. The Bible says torment. When talk about torture, you ain't got no torture like God. And I come and instill fear into you because that's how I was saved. The Bible says save some with compassion, save some with the fear of hellfire. You know what I'm saying? Pull them out. Pull them out, man. Let them know, man. You you don't have, man, I, man, it's a weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. Like, it's, it's going to be so bad, bro. I, I can't even, I can't even imagine, bro. And, and, and the, the reason why I'm saying this is because it needs to be known that how wrathful God's going to be. Because this, to me, this shows that, man, my wrath is so harsh because after all the goodness, every single day, all day, God's probably knocking on your door, talking to your ear every second of the day for I don't know how many years, millions and millions and millions of times plus probably, how many times we disobeyed him. That just goes to show you out of all God's kindness, you know when somebody does something, snaps, because they're getting treated wrong. I mean, look how people treat people. This, see, God is the real one. He done talked to people all his day life, and they keep on disobeying, 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 disobeying. And God, gonna on judgment day, he's going to have a, a calculated snap. He's just going to snap. Depart from me. Work with niggas. Look. Yeah, the world ain't playing with me. Mm -mm. No, I ain't saying I'm perfect. I, I confess. You know what I mean? If I make a mistake, I confess. Bro, you ain't finna have me, bro. <laughs> Look here. I'm gonna get a little street with you. Know? You know what I'm talking? Get a little swag in my talk. You ain't finna have me sitting before big dog in the sky. <laughs> you ain't gonna have me sitting before God. <laughs> talking about the part from me. And I'm going down to a place. I don't even, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> bro, this this life? What? What, how, what? what all can you get? Think about it. Think about all you can get. What's the most you can get, bro? Think about it. I mean, even if you got millions of dollars, bro, you, bro, you can't even consume enough food to, bro, you get a car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything that you, bro, look, look here, man. No. Nah. Mm -mm. Just, 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 just stop lying to yourself, man. This time is getting short, bro. You don't want to go to hell, bro. I don't care who you is. You don't want to go. Now, some people may, hey, that between them and God, bro, I, I don't even want to hear about it. I don't even want to hear about it. If you gonna if you just gonna live for the devil, bro, I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. Look here, you stand for God. I ain't gonna go into into detail. I'm just gonna leave that leave that be. But for those who want to come out of her, my people, just like Jesus said, come out of her, her, my people. And before you, uh, it says, come out of my people and be not a partaker of her plagues. See, this one plague is gonna come on people, man. I don't know if it's gonna be death. I don't know if it's gonna be. <clears throat> tribulation. I don't know what it, it might be. Murder. It could be hell. Hell could be the could be the plague. That's a plague, man. And and you know to be honest with you, man, it's one thing I'm concerned about too. All this. I mean, we got all this. <clears throat> Look here, and this, this is a popular doctrine. Now, 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 before I say this real quick, I want to say one thing. The Pharisees and the Sadducees were very popular in Jesus' day. So don't think that somebody can't be out there. On the TV, millions and oh, hundreds and thousands of churches. Look here, and I know it sounds real sweet, real honey, real honey sweet type. The Bible says adulterous woman's lip drop is a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than the oil. Some of these, some of these pastors is, is some adulterous type people because the Bible even refers to them as great horse. See, their mouth is like honey, and they uh, drop like honey. Uh, their lips drop like honey, and they and they mouth is like smooth as oil. Just. Now, I'm going to be real with you. Now, I know everybody, you know what I'm saying? When you hear this, everybody going to be, ah, oh, that just sounds so innocent and so sheep-like and so everybody does it. But before we get into this, for a sec, I know everybody does it. Look here. The Pharisees and Sadducees were the same way. They have this doctrine. They have this person. I mean, they had this way of life, and they kick people out. If they didn't remember when the dude got healed, this dude got healed. He said, man, he said, you have, you telling us? You are a sinner from birth. You telling us? He kicked him out the out the, out the uh, synagogue. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm gonna tell you one thing right now, bro. I don't care nobody say. Look, I mean, I, I care what people say, but what I'm saying is like, the fact is, if somebody 
says, you do, all you got to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hey, let, let's stop being, let's stop being so, following people so closely, like just so naively or so sheep-like, bro. When you say do something that the scripture specifically says you have to get baptized, it says in the name of Jesus. Look here. See, this is the, I think, to, to be honest with you, this is the popularity is the problem. They see these preachers with this many people in church. They see this and that. They see they rides or they, 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 they material gain and they, and they feel like God them bless them. You know, I'm going to be real with you. That was how I thought. I thought, man, these dudes look blessed, man. They got to be doing something right. But I had to learn. I had to realize that just because you got some materialistic stuff going on in your life, don't mean it can be real smooth, bro. It can be real smooth. And I'm talking about smooth because like, uh, like I heard before people say, it says as a minister of light, as a minister of light. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there's way worse uh, doctors and stuff out here than rap, than just, you know, that that type of mistake. You know, as far as just repeat with your mouth and. You are now a part of God, and I'm not mocking. I'm just saying how they how they talk. Now you are now a part of God's family. All right, so, but it doesn't say that. Now and I think what we have to, I think what we have to live our minds at. We have to come to the realization and say, look here, I might not know beyond this level of why God says do this. Well, well, actually, I do know. He says, well, he says what to do. Why to do it? He, but now we now we go into this deep deep realm, and the devil tries to put these deep deep realms out here. Well, ah, well, um, well, you know, it don't matter and all that type of stuff. And as long as you, but see, that's the thing about it, though. How can you be the judge of what matters? So I'm saying, how can you be the judge of that of what matters? If God specifically says do something, how how are you the judge of what matters? You see what I'm saying? In word, indeed, Jesus name and baptism, you have to get repent. For sins, be baptized, receive the Holy Spirit. That's the three salvational plans. So, you got people out here um, say these words after me. Congratulations, you are now a part of God's family. Okay, bro. Like, nah, I, I'm not just trying to jump at you all ignorantly now, but 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 see, that's the problem. See, we get little one people like me on the on the YouTube. <clears throat> Everybody. You know, people just think, oh, this is some old dude just talking trash. But see, that's the problem, though, too. See, a lot of one little dudes just talk trash back in the Bible times. It was the one little dude who was out in the wilderness that got his head chopped off. It was the one little dude that came to David. It was the one little dude named Jesus that had the whole town against him. So I'm saying these one little dudes, these one little prophets, these one little pastors and ministers around here, it'd it be them one little single dudes out here that's telling you the truth. And you, and you need to be careful because... Beyond a certain realm, none of us understand. But we just have a we have a we have a GPS in our mind. We have a GPS in our spirit. So when God says to do something, you have a GPS that says, "Hey, it, God said go that way." If you if you if you listen to a GPS, you gonna trust that GPS, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We all have GPS on our phone. Nobody question the GPS. If it say go down here, you uh, 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 ten times out of ten, it's gonna give you the right direction. As long as you're as long as you're um. Your service is going good. See, hallelujah. So when you're praying and you got your Wi-Fi connected to God, right? When that GPS says, hey, do it this way. You know what I mean? Listen to that GPS. Don't, 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 don't be, don't be letting people say, well, um, well, the GPS, which is the Bible says, Jesus name, bam, bam, exactly how to do it. Uh, such and such say, oh, well, you ain't got to do it that way. You need to go this way. This is where you go. Are you going to listen to God's GPS, which is the Bible? Or are you going to listen to are you just gonna listen to somebody who's telling you to go somewhere that is not just not in your GPS, which is the Bible? Come on, man. <clears throat> listen, follow the GPS, man. Ain't none of us. Don't let nobody lie to you beyond what any of us understand. <clears throat> I can guarantee you, some people don't even understand. You know, we don't understand beyond a certain level, man. Stay prayed up, man. Follow the Bible, which is the GPS, to the best of your ability, bro. God got your back, man. I want everybody to have, you know, a blessed day. And, I, and I'm and i not angry with nobody, man. I hope everybody that hears this makes it. And, and keep on standing strong. You know, if you can't find no good church, 
whatever it is, man, just pray in your home. That ask God to lead you to the right place. Hey, you know, uh, I'm off of uh, Centerville, uh, you know, over there in, in Garland. You know, I found me a nice church to go to. Truth, be blessed. Stay strong in the Lord. Don't let nobody tell you not to listen to the word of God. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen.